Hi guys, this is Sahil Sorry Education and Sahil from Aussie's Group. Well, you would have heard about the recent migration changes to be implemented next year, 2024. Well, I am here along with our Mara agents, Preeti and Rajan, to discuss these uh, updates in brief. Hello friends, my name is Rajan Goyal. I'm a registered migration agent at Aussie's Perth. Hello everyone, I'm Preeti. I'm the registered migration agent in Aussie's Toondala. Today we are here to discuss some of the changes that the Minister of uh, the Department of Home Affairs has announced today. So these changes are going to come into effect starting from early next year to, to late next year. So in 2024, basically. So as we all know that some of the changes have already been announced by the Minister regarding various visas such as employer sponsored visas, student visas and 485 visas. But some of the changes, new changes have been announced today as well which are going to be implemented starting from next year. So one of the major changes, uh, I'm going to talk about the 485 visa first. So one of the major changes is that they've reduced the duration of uh, 485 visas for people in, who are applying for the 485 visas under the post-study work rights stream. So people who've done their bachelor's or master's will now get a shorter duration of 485 visa uh, instead of the longer duration that they used to get earlier. For example, People who used to do their masters in Australia before used to get three years of 485 visa. Now they will only get two. For bachelors, it will be two years. For masters by research and PhD, it will be three years. Of course, regional extension would be available for people uh, who's, who studied, who've done their degree from regional parts of Australia. Preeti, why do you think they reduced the duration of these 485 visas? Um, probably, if we go back to what uh the Claire O'Neill was uh, talking about today, it was uh, that the new uh, arrangements that will be coming for the permanent residency, very quickly the people who are in, uh, holding a 485 visa, working in their skilled fields and everything, would be able to get onto the permanent residency quickly. So those people would not be needing the longer duration of the 485 visas and to get onto the residencies and uh, they probably don't want the people to be staying in the limbo of being into the temporary uh, you know temporariness of their permanent residencies right correct no i agree mm -hmm. and also as you might be aware some of the changes that were brought in earlier uh, people who had studied a particular degree like an eligible qualification used to get even five years of four or five visas but not anymore. It seems to me from the announcement of the minister, obviously these changes are not in effect yet. So we do not know what the exact exact legislation is going to be. But it seems to me that that five year visa is also not going to stay anymore. So all of you who've done bachelor's or master's uh, will only get two years of visa. So right. what they want you to do is to get on the job and work in your skill nomination op occupation, uh, complete your studies here, and, and not waste time and, and move towards permanent residency if you could. Yeah. All right. I was thinking about the age, what they have reduced. Yes, yes. So the yeah. other major change that they've brought in uh, is that they're saying that 485 visas would now only be uh, available to people who are 35 years and younger. So anybody who's over 35 years of age might not be eligible for 485 visas anymore. Mm. So this is a big thing that has uh, this is come a big up. Thing. Yeah, it is reduced from uh, the pre the age limit currently is fifty. So from a fifty to a thirty five. Yeah. That uh, what do you think, Rajan? What is I mean, it it's, a, it's, a, it's a big change. There are lots of students who are over this age, over the age of thirty five, who would be expecting to get a graduate visa after they finish their studies in Australia. So it's a huge disappointment for anybody who's over the age of thirty five. But as I said, the actual legislation is not in effect yet. Yeah. So of course, uh, there will be feedback given to the minister now. They might relax the rules a little bit, but who knows. Okay. At the moment, it stands at 35 years of age from next year. For 485. For 485. Yeah. yeah. Or probably, you know, what, uh, I mean, this might be my wild guess for this or what. Probably the person who is in the early 30s or uh, mid 30s has already got, gained the experience and now here only for a international qualification and may be able to go on to the permanent residency very quickly very quickly yeah. right awesome. because when we are listening we are all hearing about the skilled worker who can bring the lots of experience within australia which is highly skilled so might be they think that they do not need a 405 they can go on to the residency 
actually we are looking into the smaller picture of this and uh, the bigger picture could come up to when it connects the dots between the graduate visa to the residency pathways what that could be right correct correct yes um, and of course the government is also saying that the 485 visa will be processed very quickly they are giving a 21 day service standard for the 485 visa so basically again they are pointing they're heading towards a direction where they do not want uh, people to stay here longer on temporary visas the processing time is going to be quicker the duration is going to be lesser for 485 visas uh, just complete your studies and work in your skill documentation and get onto the permanent residency pathway if you could no more enjoying on the bridging visa yeah, for correct. a longer time yeah correct <laughs> absolutely yeah um and yes, the another major change, Rajan, how about the 45 holders not able to lodge a student visa? Yeah, that's a new one as well and it's going to impact a lot of people out there. So the minister has also announced that 45, current 45 visa holders might not be able to apply for a new student visa while they are inside Australia. So after you are holding a 45 visa, you should either be eligible for a permanent visa or the, or the employer sponsored visa or you could you, you just have to go back home you cannot extend your stay anymore in australia possibly and on a student visa after the 485 visa yeah and that, uh, when is this implementing i think what they've written is that they're going to start implementing these changes in the early 2024 now it could be in the mid 2024 as well depending on the feedback the minister gets uh, of course but yeah so we can expect these changes anytime in in the, in the first half of 2024 and also for an English language requirements, that's there for the 485, is uh, getting increased to the 6.5 and uh, with the 6 in each uh, component and uh, yeah, which is currently so, is a 6 overall. Yeah, so just a half a band increase, half a band increase. for the graduate visas, yeah. Correct. Yes. Well, if you want to know more, you can contact us by details given in the description. And to know more about student visas and employee sponsored visas, we've got a few more videos coming through. So stay tuned for more.